Loft the Cat joins us now in solidarity with those of you who've been asking for equal time following Connor Knighton's recent report about those adorable sled dog puppies. Well, felines have fans too. I'm one. And so is friend of the family, Bobby Flay. From the time I was born, there were always cats in my house. My mom was, and still is, obsessed with them. As an only child, they were as close to my brothers as I had. I spent countless hours side by side with them, and we kept each other company. My mother was very creative when it came to naming them. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. There was Marshmallow with his single white paw, Smokey, Misty, and Coco, who had beautiful brown points to their coats, and my very favorite, Pumpkin. You guessed it, he was an orange tabby. I wanted him because he matched my hair, and as a five-year-old boy, nothing could be cooler in my mind. Finally, a sibling. Until I moved out of my mom's house at 19, these felines were part of my every day and night. I missed them when I was away, and I cherished the moment of opening the front door when they would all gather to welcome me home. As an adult, I had a 30-year drought without a cat in my home life. It was easy for me to make the excuse that I was never home. But what I was really nervous about was handling the responsibility of taking care of a new kitten and making a 15 to 20 year commitment to a living, breathing creature. Well, I'm back in. If you have an Instagram account, there's a chance you've met my current feline companion, Nacho, or as he's known in social circles, Nacho Flay. Nacho is a Maine Coon, a breed known mostly for their exceptional size. They are known as the gentle giants of domestic cats. At just two years old, Nacho is approaching close to 20 pounds, and my guess is he'll probably eclipse that. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been disputing the aloof and uncaring reputations cats have versus my dog-owning friends for decades. But Maine Coons, especially this one, have so many canine traits. Nacho plays fetch. He opens every door in my house. <laughs> he follows me from room to room and is never out of earshot. And neither am I. He travels with me almost everywhere I go and, most importantly, shows me his love and affection constantly. And here's the best part. It's unconditional. Well, almost. He is food motivated. I often wonder if I wasted three decades without a cat roaming my home, especially when I look into Nacho's eyes and I can almost hear his thoughts. He knows when I'm feeling a little under the weather or I'm having a case of the blues. He makes me a softer and more understanding person just by his presence and affection. You know, the world has a way of giving you what you need. And sometimes a new best friend shows up when you need him the most. <laughs>